Welcome in world of technology. Galaxy S9 final specs, here's what you get. The phones, which are available for pre-order now before they go on sale March 16th, cost $720 and $840, depending on where you buy them from, and we're expecting more S9 deals to emerge as we get closer to the release date. But what exactly are you getting for your money? Here's an overview of the specs for both the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Design and Displays The Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus don't look much different than their predecessors and that's all right. We loved the design of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, thanks to their infinity displays that nearly go from edge to edge, as well as the sharp 2960x1440 pixel resolution on both phones. The bezels are a little bit narrow on the top and bottom of the new phones. One tweak that will please is that Samsung moved the fingerprint reader beneath the camera lens, so it's easier to reach without looking. This sensor was to the right of the lens on the S8. The S9 and S9 Plus sport Super AMOLED panels of 5.8 inches and 6.2 inches, respectively, and Samsung has upped the brightness on the new phones over their predecessors. Cameras Samsung trumpeted the reimagined cameras in the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, leading up to the phone's launch, and it delivered. The main camera in the new phone is a 12-megapixel super-speed dual pixel with a variable aperture that adjusts depending on conditions. In low light, for example, you'd use the wide f-1.5 aperture. The S9 Plus adds a second 12-megapixel telephoto lens allowing the phone to offer a 2 times optical zoom. Both cameras offer a super slow MO feature, where you can slow video shot by the camera to 960 frames per second at 720 pixel resolution. Even better, the phones can automatically sense motion and activate the feature on their own. CPU, RAM, and Storage Both phones feature Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor which is 25% faster than the Snapdragon 835 chip in the Galaxy S8. It also offers several other advantages. For one, the 845 processor boasts an improved image signal processor, which means the S9 and S9 Plus captures images more quickly, as well as shoot slow-motion video at 480 frames per second. The 845 chip also enables better HDR photos. The S9 is more competitive with the Pixel 2 than the S8 was in terms of photo quality, but Google's latest phones and the iPhone X sport better cameras than the S9 Plus, even with Samsung's improvements. When it comes to speed and performance, the iPhone X's A11 Bionic chip easily bested the S9 Plus in our testing, which included a Geekbench 4 test of overall system performance and a video editing test where we exported a 2-minute 4K video file. The Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus offer 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. You can use the microSD card slot to boost capacity to 400GB, which no iPhone offers. Battery Life The Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus pack the same size batteries as their predecessors a 3000 mAh battery in the S9 and TA 3500 mAh battery in the S9 Plus. Qualcomm promised that the GPU in the Snapdragon 845 chip has 30% better power efficiency thanks to four dedicated A55 efficiency cores, but the S9 Plus lasted 10 hours and 59 minutes compared to the 11 hours and 4 minutes reached by the S8 Plus. Software It's safe to say that the Bixby Assistant on the Galaxy S8 didn't set the world on fire. In fact, Many lobbied for Samsung to allow users to remap the Bixby button to another function. However, Samsung made some improvements to Bixby, particularly with Bixby Vision, which can now provide real-time translation of signs and other text. An AR emoji feature turns your face into an animated character, a feature we found more creepy than delightful in our time with the S9 Plus. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. See you next time on the other R videos.